Um, did anyone get any flags? I don't want to get a laptop. You found the easiest flag ever. I think you're the only one I've heard of so far. Um, so some of you may have found an audio file on a website. Did anyone get that flag? No? There was a flag on there. So this um, was created for us, and I'm just going to show you all the retro magnet that I, magic that I was shown a few days ago. Yeah. <laughs> a big round of applause for Tom at the back, please, who created this just for us. Thank you. Okay, so um, let's see if this works. There we go. So um, we have had, I think, a stellar year uh, for B sides in Leeds. Anyone disagree? Good. Anyone agree? Yeah. Hey, excellent. So um, we had. Uh, something in the range of three tracks plus one workshop track. I'm really pleased with what we actually managed to bring in. The CFP was really, really hard uh, to actually uh, sort of work out what was going on in terms of like which, pick, which which talks do we pick. So many talks were it was so close in terms of you know the, the scores and things. We had to really sort of go over things in order to to, to pull out the talks that we actually had. Um, can I just get a view of the audience very quickly? Uh, who here? This is their very first con. Wow! Keep your hand up if you had a good time. <laughs> who is a student? Wow, of life that counts, yeah. Um, okay, who's a uh, a professional, maybe even hiring people? Excellent, just checking, good, excellent. So we've had a really good range. Um, the speakers were over three tracks. Thank you, thank you, thank you to you, you guys for coming up. Unfortunately, McFly couldn't make it because his train was broken down. Now, when your train's broken down, you can't get off because you're on a train in the middle of nowhere and it's broken down and it's going nowhere. So because you couldn't, move off the train, he couldn't actually get onto the plane, and because he couldn't get onto the plane, he couldn't be here. So that's very sad. Um, but uh, Tash and I and Aaron uh, did a not panel um, on open source uh, supply chains, that's the word. Um, <laughs> uh, so please do catch up with that if you didn't see it. Um, they will all be on YouTube uh, very soon, uh, over the next uh, couple of days. And uh, please do tweet them, retweet them, put your favourites out there, and we will do our best to sort of uh, help uh, encourage that. Last year we had uh, 9,200 views in the last 12 months on the YouTube channel, of which the most viewed was with the gentleman who just walked in, Jay. Uh, 1.4 thousand, so you're going to have applause for that. Well done. <laughs> of course... Of course, it, it helps to be the only video on YouTube about using Freedom on Android. Uh, so, you know, uh, that really hit it off. But uh, other talks got several hundred to um, just shy of a thousand views. So we're doing really well. Uh, the talks that we're producing are of interest to people far and beyond. And when I say views, the average viewing length is something in the region of 10 minutes. Which, if you know how the averages work on YouTube, that means that actually a lot of people of those viewers are actually watching everything, or watching the bulk of everything. So that's really, really good. Um, hopefully, we can do better this year. Why not? Let's try. For reference, B-Sides London has 106,000 views over their years of operation. So I think we just need to you know, keep going and <laughs> get competitive. 
Absolutely. Um, yeah, but, but, but not do that in like nine years or something. You know? Anyway, so we also had three villages. Uh, this happened completely by accident. Uh, it began with a conversation between uh, me and Ian. Ian ran the car hacking village. Thank you very much, Ian. Um, and uh, it began with a, well, shall, shall we do a workshop? And then there's a question of, well, how are you going to do a workshop on a car when, you know, you've got a car in a box and then uh, logistics and working everything out? And then we're like, well, why? I've got a spare room. Why don't you use that? And we'll make a village. So now we have Car Hacking Village UK as a, a support from Car Hacking Village, which presents at DEF CON. Um, so it's, it's going to be a really cool thing, I think. I think you've got something really special. Thank you very much to uh, Colin, to Ian, and Dan and Garrett, who worked really hard on that. I don't know who Colin is. Uh, so I thought, well, while we've got one, I've got other small rooms that I now control, because I booked out the whole venue, except for that one room that we couldn't get. But uh, I had these other small rooms. I was like, okay, why don't we try and get another one? So I think it was uh, Matt Hall suggested why don't we lock picking village. Steve uh, said yes. So uh, Steve, Tim, Ewan, Lana, and uh, Max Sek have all been running this this year. This year, round of applause for them as well, please for lock picking village. <laughs> and um, and then came the subject that's very close to my heart for reasons that Amanda alluded to in her own talk. Um, we've We've lost too many good and dear friends to the black dog. And you just wish you could whisper in their ear, do not go gentle into that good night and to rage, rage against the dying of the light. Mental health is something that we need to take seriously and I am absolutely indebted to uh, Amanda. But our fri uh, friends and helpers, uh, Mao Al or Lizzie, um, as well as James, you also instrumental, uh, and lots of other friends. I think Aaron, you were doing a lot there as well. A big, big, big thank you from me to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Did everyone manage, did everyone who wanted to manage to get a massage? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so I think I think it was a success. I think that this has laid the groundwork uh, for something very very special that I really do hope like catches on. You know, I really hope that we can push both not just mental health but car hacking village and lot picking village as well. We can really push things forward there. Um, so that was kind of like sort of the things that we were doing. Um, I can't do this all by myself. I get way too many volunteers. Because I want them to have an easy day in terms of not doing too much, but also if they want to go and see a talk, they should be able to. To that end, I get a group, this year it was 22 volunteers in total, and um, most of those were students. And they sort of sat around um, in the very proudly in the t-shirts. Um, thank you, everyone. I'm going to give you the roll call. Uh, I won't read everyone out, but these are all the students who took part. Uh, these were... Uh, other people who <laughs> are from the local community. Uh, these are not students, but they're really cool guys. I do have some special mentions. Uh, Cooper, for doing his AV magic. Thank you very much, my friend. Um, thank you to Chloe for program design and everything else. Thank you. Thank you to David. Where's David? He's there for having me on the website. Aaron, because you haven't seen it yet. But this is going to be special. It's going to be cool. And to Emlyn for being the right-hand man to my madness. Thank you, Emlyn. Thank you, everyone. Because these things don't happen um, without a lot of people actually pitching in and supporting me, entertaining my crazy, telling me that's too far, telling me that's not far enough. <laughs> um, I'd also like to thank, personally, the people who go to DEFCON 151, the local DEFCON meetup, and Leeds Hackspace. You guys have all been superb in terms of supporting me, so thank you to those as well. Um, some of you have noticed uh, the wonderful Nicky, uh, Nick, sorry, Calling him Nicky, Nick and Andy. Um, they have been going around taking photographs. Some of you got little stickers saying, "Please don't take photographs of me." Um, they've done a really good, incredible job. Um, the photos will be available. Any questions or comments or oh, I don't want that photo of me there. I look like I've done something uh, rude in a, in a wheelbarrow. Um, then please just put a uh, an email into bsizelees at gmail.com. We'll put photo uh, in, the, in the subject and we'll sort it out. But those will be available soon. Please do go and check out their website. They're called Real Time Events. Thank you both. Thank you. So... 
when it comes down to it, I these aren't free. I charge a small fee for the ticket, but these aren't free, and I am indebted to the sponsors for, again, listening to my crazy ideas. Um, in Skybet's terms, it was in a pub. In Capital One's terms, it was in a gin bar in London. Uh, in Leeds Beckett University, I think I just turned up at Emlyn's office. Um, for being my platinum sponsors, you guys have been amazing. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and also... To our gold sponsors, uh, I have Pentas Partners, who are you know, good friends um, to both me and the conference, uh, Precursor Security, uh, who are doing the after party, and also to Hacker One as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Likewise, the villages had little boosts of help, just to help get resources, to get people over, to get things going on. Uh, for the car hacking village, it was Bug Crowd, Lock Picking Village, Octopi Tech, and Mental Health Village Capital One. Once again, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. So, I, I hid various flags, um, and someone raced downstairs to say, I hear you've got loads of flags, I love flags. And I was like, no, not the, not the, no, no, they're, they're strings, um, which you then find. Unfortunately, no one came to see me to verify their flags. So what we'll do is, I'll set a deadline by, shall we say, next Friday. And the first person to either find all the flags or the first person to find the most flags will get sent a black badge. This will get you into B-size leads for the rest of B-size leads, okay? We'll do that by Twitter, all right? We'll do that by Twitter. So thank you to everyone who's taking part in that, but do let me know because there's a prize. I'd also like to mention at this point, um, I've given out two black badges, not just to myself, but I've given out two. One is to Chloe. She's done a massive amount of work for this. And also one to Emlyn. Stand up, both of you get some applause because you guys have really, really held this together. Thank you. So... Um, ticket breakdown, I got a lot of flack when I charged a fiver, you wouldn't believe on Twitter, like, I was like, wow um, so I just tell you where the money went um, rather than getting you the cheaper lanyards, I got you the nice ones I thought you might like those has anyone uh, reused theirs from last year? Quite a few no, virtually no one, okay fine um, but also, rather than having a piece of card and your and, and attempted a name on it. I got you a nice PCB. So that's where the money went, and the remaining eight and a half p or something went towards making sure there was enough coffee uh, in the venue. So I'd like to thank once again uh, Anna, who is at the back there. Her design is the owl um, that you all see everywhere. It's actually becoming a little bit iconic. I think I'm very grateful to her. So please uh, thank you all for turning up. We had to turn out to 285. Compared to last year's 270, and given I handed out um, plentiful amounts of tickets, that's a really, really, really good turnout for a venue that holds 300. So thank you, everyone, for actually getting down here. Thank you. Yeah, you can clap yourselves. You can clap yourselves. So we're now in the moment of Annihilation's <laughs> Wake. One moment the well of life to taste, the stars are setting and the caravan starts for the dawn of nothing. Oh, make haste. <laughs> what, you know, like Persian poetry? Whatever. Anyway, so, um, it's translated, I know. Rubato uh, Omar Khayyam, if you're actually curious. Um, the after party is going to be at the upper little dot. So, literally, as you fall out of one entrance and just go down the road, you will find a spire, and then that is where the party is. But what could we be doing at this party? Surely we're not just, just going to be drinking, although I think that would be plentiful. No, 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 no. We have a real treat. We have Hacker Blockbusters. Yes. <laughs> this is, at once, the most wonderful and shittiest Photoshop I have seen in quite some time. Um, thank you to Aaron for putting this on. Thank you very much, my friend. So please, do sign up the team. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that's going to be incredible this evening. Um, Don't forget your mascot, those of you who want to play. Mascots, everyone. So, thank you to everyone for being here. It's been an incredible experience. I could not have asked for it to be better. And it kind of remains to be said, well, shall we do it in 2020? Sure. We'll get the whole building, though. <laughs> Provisional date? 24th of January.
I've already booked it, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. It's, it's provisionally definite, yes. <laughs> Subject to, I don't know, something falling down or something. So we will go again next year. We'll have an even better time, I hope. I uh, would like to entertain the idea and solve the problem of maybe expanding it a little bit. The waiting list for this event was something in the region of 160 people long. I think we can grow it a little bit. I think we can keep it cool, keep it happy, keep it fun. And if people are up for that, let's do that. Thank you very much for everyone being here. I think we should go for the party. Thank you. <laughs> Eastside Leeds is closed. Thank you. <laughs>